friends and this is the argent verb in this uh, tutorial we check that we see that can we read a whiteboard from dot class file in java it is possible to read a dot class file from java what is the class file class file is nothing but a set of a file class file is nothing but it is a whiteboard what is the whiteboard whiteboard is nothing but a fixed set of the instructions generally we can't generally we can't read the class file because it is in whiteboard so it is possible to read a whiteboard from dot class file yes it is possible it is possible to read a whiteboard from dot class file there is a some command there is a one command in the java by using this command we read a whiteboard from dot class file so let us let us check how we can do this first for this we create a folder and that folder i am using the name that is a test java in the in this folder i am creating a one on what that file and that one file is renamed as test dot java so for this demonstration purpose i am writing a simple program in java that is a hello world so write down a simple program that is a class is in class is i am writing a big static form name standard in a hs or standard you can write in it You have to write. So for each static void name, string. Writing it. Uh, instead of ARG, I'm writing my name. So, suppose you, whatever you have to create in Java, it is a class. That class is called string dot outer printer and I am printing hello java developer just I am printing the message that is hello java developer I save this program to run this program to run this program I am using a command prompt that is cmd sorry using the command prompt like cmd Go to the folder that is a read line, change directory cd, go to the folder test java, in the test java, I am first compiling the java file by using the command java c, java compile, test dot java. When I compile this program, in the folder, there is another file is created, that file is called as a test dot class file. Whenever I open this uh, class file, whenever I open this class file, this class file is look like something. We can't read. We can't read these instructions. What are the instructions? I'm, I'm not able to read this. But in the Java, there is a, some command. There is a one command. By using this command, we have to read these instructions. What are the instructions that the Java provides? So, so how we can achieve this uh, task? So, write down the command that is a java e minus hyphen c and name of the class file, paste dot class file. So, java p, what is meant by the java p? Java p is nothing but a java disk assembler. Means it convert a whiteboard into a human readable instruction screen. So, whenever I run this program, whenever I run this command, so instructions is look like this. Yes, we can achieve our task. We can read. We can read these instructions in the human readable form. We can't read this type of instructions. We can't read. But by using this command, we have to read. We read. This is the instructions. So, uh, load is an instructions. Inu special is another instructions. Public static void means Java language 
java.lang.string java.lang.string this is a main method so this is a this is a print string io.print string the string dot out.println is coming from which which package that is a io print string package this is a by using this way we have to read a byte code this is a byte code in the human readable form so this is a method this is a command which command java p hyphen c test dot class code. okay so there is another there is suppose i remove the hyphen c and just java p test dot class so this is another so class test this is the name of our class class test Test is a constructor by default created public static void main java dot line dot state. Okay, so I can see. So what do you mean by Java P? Java P is nothing but a Java disassembler which convert a byte code into the human readable instructions. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it. Thank you.